has never made sense for us to take someone who is truant, someone who just skipped class, and put them in incarceration. Each year, more than 600,000 youth are admitted to juvenile detention centers. The majority of the offenses are property crimes or violating probation. In the 1990s, research indicated that the nation's juvenile detention centers were ineffective, expensive, and arbitrary. They make kids self-identify as criminals in a way we really don't want. They give us some temporary respite from the kid running around in the community, but they put that young person back out into our community as a self-identified criminal who we've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on making worse. The Annie E. Casey Foundation developed the Juvenile Detention Alternatives Initiative to demonstrate that jurisdictions could reduce reliance on detention without sacrificing public safety. One of the best practices that's uh, in the country today, and that is the Casey's Juvenile Detention Alternatives Initiative. The only way that we are going to truly improve the system from the front door all the way out to the back door and back into the community is to focus on risk risk so that we only are detaining those who must appropriately be detained, balancing the interest of the public safety, balancing the interest of harm to self, and balancing the interest at the front door of the, the risk of reappearance in court. 